Hello everybody, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a haul for you today and today's haul is a very exciting one because everything that I'm going to be showing you I picked up on my travels in the USA. So I went to Nashville and Franklin in Tennessee and while I was there we did a spot of shopping. I felt like it would be rude not to and I vlogged lots of the shops that I went to including the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Target, Walmart, did some thrifting in Goodwill, Bath and Body Works, the list goes on. There are so many shops in the US that I just absolutely love. They're kind of different to the ones that we have here in the UK. Most of them are a lot bigger and there's a lot more choice. So I picked up a few bits. I've got some Christmas decorations, I've got some candles, I've got some homeware, I've got some cleaning stuff, I've got some random bits that you can only get in the USA. So I've got lots to show you in this video. So before we jump into it, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this USA haul of all the bits that I got for my travels, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you missed the vlogs that I made while I was over there, I will link those in the description box. You can have a look around Nashville with me and there's loads of shopping vlogs too to see what it's like in store and get that in-store shopping experience. Right then, quick sip of the coffee and then we'll jump into it. I'm for a Starbucks mug today and it's a Las Vegas one. I thought that was the most fitting one that I had for this video. So quick sip and we'll get cracking. Where do we begin? Let's start with Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree is somewhere that I was intrigued to go to, being a big lover of Poundland here in the UK. I was interested to compare the two. So I've got a few bits. This is the bags that Dollar Tree give you and look at the size of them. Look how deep they are. They're kind of like bin bags, aren't they? Anyway, you can see a few bits peeking out in here. Now, one thing that they do so well in America is autumn decorations for the home. They just do it brilliantly. We see some of the stuff over here in TK Maxx and HomeSense, and we absolutely love it over here. So that was the area that I kind of spent the most time browsing in in store. They also had a few nice Christmas decorations coming in, but it was really the autumn decorations that caught my eye. I was actually very restrained, but I did pick up a few really nice pieces. The first one being this sign that says, Hello Autumn. Let me just make it a little bit darker so you can see it better. And it's got this really nice pumpkin design on it and then just a really simple hessian style edge, little bow on there, and this was a dollar. How incredible is that? It's just made of hardboard, and then it's got this printed design on the front, but a really decent size, and actually a little tip for you, if you are shopping kind of home wares, home decor, while you're away, signs like this are actually really good because they're not too heavy, and obviously they just pack flat, so rather than buying bulky, items. I went for this because I just thought really nice piece for the home. It's something that I'll always remember my trip with. And for a dollar, what are we thinking? I think that is so nice. What a lovely watercolour design on there. And then to go with it, I spied some napkins. Because we love a napkin, especially a seasonal one. And these, again for the pack, were one dollar and I just thought the design on these was lovely too with the sunflowers. And I also got this tea towel, it says kitchen towel. Now, fun fact for you, it's actually not fun at all. <laughs> but in the UK, kitchen towel is the equivalent of paper towel in the US. I was actually asking for some kitchen towel and it caused some confusion at one point while I was over there. So yeah, paper towel on the roll is what we call kitchen towel in the UK and we call these tea towels. And these are, yeah, basically like the things that you do the drying up with, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'm not explaining this very well, but I thought you might be interested in the different languages that we use on certain things. I haven't come across that one before. And this one says gather on it, and it has more pumpkins, more autumn leaves, and just a really sweet design. It's only very thin, it's kind of like a microfiber, so you could actually use this for cleaning or just for like drying the surfaces too. But yeah, I thought for a cheeky dollar, that is absolutely fab. They had another one with a funny wine saying on it that caught my eye. Honestly, I was so restrained. I just felt like I had to be very, very selective with the amount of space that I had in my suitcase. I did have a second suitcase with me, but I had a lot of stuff that I had to take out there too. So yeah, space was limited. So I had to be really selective in what I bought in terms of how much and weight and that kind of thing. Anyway, he says, <laughs> while I was in there, I also bought 
a whole bag full. We've got about 20, I think it's 24, 25 stick on tiles, which is <laughs> so random, I know. What a thing to bring home with me. But I spotted these and I actually don't think I've seen such a nice design for such a reasonable price. And these are so lightweight. They're 3D, they've got a nice bit of texture to them. It's hard to show you, but they're really nice and beveled. And they're just the peel and stick tiles in this nice white metro um, design with the gray grout in them. So I've got an idea for this. And of course, I'll be sharing that with you. I've got a little makeover planned and these are going to be brilliant for it. And for such a good price. I mean, $1 each of these. So it's under 20 pounds for this project that I'm going to be doing with them. It's going to be fab. So stay tuned for that. And they had other designs too. So if you are in the US and you're looking to do a little peel and stick tile project, they also had some kind of wood effect ones too. I think they're in the vlog um, when I went to Dollar Tree, so you can have a look at that. And they also had, which I thought was a brilliant idea, splash back stickers, which also had the same tile design on them. And I thought that was really clever. So they're things that you can put behind like a hob or an area where you're working. Maybe you've got like a microwave set up somewhere. And they were just like a big vinyl sticker, but with a tile design. I think we need those in the UK. So Poundland, if you're watching, put it on the list, please. I think I'm going to leave the Bath and Body Works candles to the end because the sniffing and describing might take some time with you. So we'll do that last and yeah, we have got a few candles to get through. Of course we have. So let's have a look at some of the Christmas decorations that I picked up next. So I got these from Walmart. I was so impressed with the range of Christmas decorations in Walmart. Walmart, I suppose, is the equivalent to Asda in the UK, I want to say. I think it's probably the most similar to that supermarket. And I think it's the same family or under the same umbrella, I think. And they sell brilliant decorations. They had some really good Halloween decorations too. And for Christmas, they had Christmas decorations that are kind of off the scale, like physically so much bigger, really fun designs. They had lots of inflatables that you could put out on the front lawn. I saw one that reminded me of Frosty from Christmas with the Cranks and yeah, that just made my day. <laughs> I was so excited to see that. And they also had some really good value tree ornaments in different styles. They had a really nice range that was kind of like a, maybe like a log cabin kind of vibe. I'll show you the ones that I picked up anyway and you'll see what I mean, but they were $1.00. 98 each and I think it was incredible value you'll see when I show you so the first one is this guy how cool is he so he's made out of this really nice tartan fabric and then he's got his little scarf on and a nice just little hanging ornament and yeah he was look little contrast under here one dollar 98 I think that is incredible it just says holiday time on here I picked up this which is also from the holiday time range this was one dollar 48 and it's a little sprig with frosting on it. Frosting? Kind of snow effect on it. I don't know if that's the word. Anyway, it's got these kind of like tiny little snowy branches, which I thought was lovely. And then lots of monochrome I noticed, which I haven't really noticed in Christmas decoration ranges before, but that seemed to be very popular um, in Walmart. And it comes with a little clip. So I think you can poke this into a tree or into a garland or poke it anywhere you like. And yeah, really good. So you can just sort of bulk things out with that. You could use it in a vase of flowers. You could attach it to existing branches. And yeah, I wish I'd actually bought a few more of these, but as I say, space was limited. They had lots of different kind of varieties of those, which I thought was brilliant. This one, little hanging ornament. Again, 198 for this, which I thought was fantastic. It says farm fresh Christmas trees with a little arrow pointing to it. They had lots of kind of farm style decorations, lots of arrows pointing to farm fresh Christmas trees and that kind of thing. And yeah, I thought that was really sweet. It's kind of wooden with a nice edge to it. Look at that. And then the detailing on here with the mistletoe and the foliage. I thought that was fab. I thought that was quite a nice one that you could hang on the wall or a door rather than on the Christmas tree itself. But yeah, I thought that was brilliant. I love this range. I also got this metal truck. You see a lot of these, I noticed. And this one has been to pick up the Christmas tree and some presents. So it's in this really nice kind of brushed steel design. And it's even got the front window cut out. We could pop someone in there, couldn't we? I might do that if I find a little <laughs> suitable sized figure. And yeah, just on the side here, it says Merry Christmas. How nice is that? They had lots of these 
fans in red too. I feel like this next ornament might divide opinions. Here in the UK at the moment, the big trend is to go for the gonks, which are kind of like the gnome style, little cute Santas and that sort of thing. I personally quite like a creepy Santa or like a little, an old man Santa with glasses. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I like ones like this. I just really like them. So we have this guy with his little glasses on and he's wearing full get up in his faux fur. What are you saying? Is he even Santa? I think he is Santa, but he's Santa not wearing red. Maybe he's Santa on his day off, I'm not sure. Um, but I thought he was brilliant. So he's clutching some sticks with some berries on and he's even got cute little, <laughs> look at his hands, like tucked away under his beard. The detail on this guy is fantastic. And I thought he was great. Again, $1.98, little boots on. And yeah, I thought he goes quite nicely with this range too. They all tie in really nicely together. So I was delighted with him. Let me know if you're a fan of these sort of Santas with glasses on, or if you're not, <laughs> let me know in the comments. I also got this. This is brilliant. Now this is actually, I think, made from card. It's not uh, plastic, which is great, isn't it? What a good idea. But it's really nice and robust still, and we have this beautiful little scene. Again, $1.98, and I just thought that was brilliant. For the scale, I thought that was such a good buy. And actually, I really like the fact that this is made from card. It gives it kind of like a really nice homemade-y feel. Maybe we'll have a go at making something similar. But also, it makes it nice and light. So if you're hanging this on the Christmas tree, it's not gonna be weighing down the branches for such a big ornament. I thought that was lovely. It's covered in glitter, so it's one of those ones that you immediately regret taking out of the box as you get covered. <laughs> but I thought that was absolutely fab. A nice one that you could put on the table too or on the mantelpiece as part of a little display. I'm just gonna have a little sip of my coffee and a calm down because I literally am having the best time <laughs> right now. Are you? I hope you are too. I hope you're enjoying looking at all this. It just feels so nice to show you things that you might not have seen before. I guess a lot of you in the US might have seen these before, but you know when it's stuff that, I don't know, it just feels more special that it's come from the US. I'm loving life at the minute. Right, quick sip and we'll carry on. Or from this range, this one, again, $1.98. This beautiful little scene with the polar bear on it and the little trees cut out of wood. And then this around the edge, how fab is this? I mean, this is the sort of thing that if I could dream up a DIY, I would make this but the fact <laughs> that they've made it is just incredible. I just love this idea. But as a DIY inspiration too, I'm thinking maybe like a jam jar lid, we could do something with, pop some edging on it, create a scene inside. So lots of ideas as well. So thank you Walmart <laughs> with your amazing decorations. And then we have this little chap and I thought that was lovely. A really cute little design, it's got his little Santa coat on with a little belt going around it and glittery ears and antlers, what is not to love. Another one that I thought would be nice to hang on the wall or a door is this Letters to Santa and it's metal or tin. It's actually hinged so we can put letters in there and Santa can collect them, which I thought was a really sweet touch. Also, I thought it'd be a sweet one to put photographs in if you take any over Christmas, maybe some instant ones or any little notes. You could pop them away in here and then they'd be ready to unbox and look at or read the following year when you get your Christmas decorations out. Another cute little sign, again $1.98, and it's this one that says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Really nice one just to hang up as well. And then I couldn't resist this owl, which is on a piece of glass with the metal frame and then a really lovely subtle ribbon going on too. I just thought that was lovely. It reminds me of a John Lewis advert or something. How nice is that? Imagine that hanging in a window, I'm thinking, because of it being glass. If you had a window that looked out onto like a woodland, one can dream. I mean, my windows don't quite do that, but maybe I could hang it on the um, window that looks out to the roof garden. And yeah, just imagine that with a bit of like forest behind it. How cool would that look? And the last Christmas ornament I've got to show you is this one, which was from a different range. They had a range that was all pinks and really good fun. And it's this really sweet little snowman in this pink door frame. And I actually picked this one up for Hermione, who we all know here, Hermione Chantal, who's just moved to London. So I just thought I'd pop that 
with a card for her as a little housewarming gift. I love the door design of this too and the colour as well. Right, that's Christmas out of the way. I'm just going to stretch my legs because <laughs> I'm starting to get cramp. And then we will do... What should we do next? Let's do food next. Oh. So moving on to food, in Walmart, when I was in there, it was approaching Halloween time, so they had all of the Halloween sweets out on display, and I couldn't get over how many pieces these bags of candy have in them. They're designed for trick-or-treaters, of course, but even so, in the UK, we have big bags of sweets that are designed for kind of like trick-or-treaters, or for sharing, or for parties, or whatever. You don't get 160 pieces in them, I'm pretty sure. Some of the bags, I think, had 355 pieces in. They were literally huge. But I picked up this one that has 160 in. They're quite small. I mean, they're not huge. They're just little, like, nice little bites, which is ideal, isn't it? We can decant these into a jar. But in here, we've got Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. We've got Hershey's. We've got Almond Joy Whoppers. Milk Duds and also Kit Kat. So in the UK, we only have Kit Kat out of all of these. We do have Reese's over here, actually. Um, you can kind of get Reese's and Hershey's pretty readily available, I think, but not Almond Joy. Whoppers I've never heard of before, but it says the original malted milk balls, so I think they're going to be like Maltesers that we have here in the UK. Milk Duds say candy made with chocolate and caramel. I'm not quite sure what those will be like. Almond Joy Coconut and Almond Chocolate Candy Bar. Thinking maybe a bit like a bounty, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a Trying American Candy video. And I will be delighted to do that for you. I also got some M&Ms, which we have here, but I was tempted by these and wondered if they might be slightly different. So I thought I would throw those into the trolley, which I've realised... You guys in the US call cart as well, another thing that I learned. So yeah, shopping trolley, cart. There we are. <laughs> I also got some of these Reese's peanut butter cups and they're just in some Halloween style packaging. And then I got some fun size M&Ms in peanut. I'm gonna ask you to say a lot in the comments down below. Don't feel like you have to answer all of this, but are we peanut or chocolate M&Ms? I quite like a bit of both. I feel like if the two were mixed in a bag, with some popcorn, that would be my ideal variation of that. Some more of the Reese's peanut butter cup, and then I've got some Reese's Take Five, which is pretzels, which I really like the sound of pretzels in a chocolate bar, I think that'd be delicious. Pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and milk chocolate bar. So I look forward to trying those. And um, is that all of it? Oh yeah, and also some Milky Way, which Milky Ways used to be really popular when I was a kid, and I just don't remember seeing them so much now. I think actually we do get Milky Way in celebrations, in the tubs of sweets that we get at Christmas time. But apart from that, you don't often see a Milky Way. I've got a bag of them here, so <laughs> I look forward to trying these and seeing if they're different. They look like they're going to be different. Have these got, oh yeah, these have got caramel in, so actually, I'm thinking this is going to be more like a Mars bar. Very much looking forward to trying those, and I might pop them in the fridge and slice them up. That is all the food, I think. Yeah, that's it for food. So next up, let's do a bit of cleaning. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna sound like such a loser now, but this is probably one of my favorite things that I've found. But I think actually a lot of you will really appreciate this, and you know, next time I'm doing one of my cleaning videos, I will be <laughs> very excited to bust one of these out. This is Febreze, but it's in the scent Fresh Harvest Pumpkin. And oh my goodness, I gave it a little spray in the store. This smell, it smells like the candles that we love. It smells like that autumn scent that we love. It smells like that nice, moist <laughs> pumpkin cake that we love. It smells amazing. I'm delighted with this. And there was two because they didn't have them um, individually on offer for sale, so I just thought, I have to bring these back. I don't think they do them here. If they do them here, I'll be like, what a wally. Why did I pick those up in the USA? But I don't think you get this scent here. Yeah, now my home is gonna smell like that really nice, sweet, American pumpkin smell. I'll move on. Another thing that, <laughs> this is so random as well. I didn't actually buy this. But I just wanted to pick one of these up to show you. I actually took this from the job that I was working on just to demonstrate something. This is a bin bag, okay? Yeah, I know. But I just wanted to show you the size of this bin bag. Now, I did ask, and they told me that this size bin bag was more typical for kind of garden waste. But the size of it, look at it, it is massive. And then it opens up so wide, it is so robust. 
I mean, I can't believe that here we are doing a haul and I'm getting excited about a bin bag. Actually, yes, I can believe it. Because look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. So, that is amazing. I mean, if you were doing a Halloween costume, one of these, and you would be good to go. I know we've missed that for this year, but anyway, I just had to share that with you because honestly, the scale of some things blew my mind. We also had coffee from Starbucks in a box. So you know like, <laughs> sometimes I get those boxes of wine. They had that in coffee version. It was like in a big brown box with a tap on it, full of coffee. Also talking of things that are big in scale, this Sharpie, can we appreciate him? Look at the size of him. He is a super Sharpie, nice and big and chunky, but we've still got a fine point on that. But I really need to move on now. Let's move on <laughs> to some homeware. I'm gonna save two things for the end, and we're gonna do, yeah, homeware next from Target. Target, can we, I need another sip of coffee before we even get involved with this. So Target is one of my new favorite places, and I'm really finding it hard to describe or compare it to an equivalent in the UK. Target has, it's like a supermarket, but mostly not food, if that makes sense. So I guess it's similar to something like one of the massive Asda's or the massive Tesco extras, where they sell kind of like the homeware. They also sell like things like TVs. They have a whole toy section. They have a whole clothing section. They have areas for like decorating. They have stationery. They have a really nice section with all toiletries in. So they have basically everything in store, but I can't think of a shop in the UK that I would compare it to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm stuck with that one, actually. I guess it is just like one of our bigger, super-sized supermarkets, but they have some really great stuff in them. Anyway, they had some really nice homewares, and they had a range called Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, which I believe is really popular in America, and they had some really nice bits in that range, and I chose this mug, which I just thought was really nice and simple, very up my street in terms of its size. I love the size of this. And it also goes really nicely with some of the mugs that I already have. And it just says rise and shine, so a really nice one to use in the mornings and a nice one to remind me of my first trip to Target. I love the fact that it's got the glaze and then the exposed kind of clay at the base there. Love that, and that was $4.99. Just jumping back to Walmart quickly, I picked up some of these shoe liners in there. These were, I think, $6.99 or $7.99, and it was six men's lightweight, breathable, arch support, non-slip heel shoe liners. I just wanted some comfy socks for the aeroplane home, and yeah, I'd actually run out of clean pairs, so picked those up. And I also got in Walmart some of these Crest 3D whitening strips. And I got the vivid white ones. It says levels seven whiter. So these are things that you can't get readily available in the UK. I wish you could, but these are something that, yeah, you can only usually pick up in the US or by ordering online. I've used these before and they work really well. And yeah, they're just good if you want to kind of like have a little top up and something that you can't get over here. So I thought it'd be worth picking up some while I was over there. On to Bath and Body Works next. I had such a good time in there sniffing all the candles. I mean, just such a good time. <laughs> I had the best time. I had the best time in every single shop that I went to in the US. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, can you tell? Anyway, Bath and Body Works, it was late into the evening and it just gave me some renewed energy. You know when you hit a shop where you, you're flagging a little bit, any fellow shopaholics out there? You know when you hit that point where you think, I can't go on, I need to go and eat or have a coffee, but then you see that shop and all of a sudden you feel absolutely fine again. <laughs> it was one of those situations. Anyway, they had an offer on their single wick candles, which was two for $20, so I picked up a few of these. I thought it'd be nice to try some new ones, and actually these make lovely little gifts as well. So I got this one, which is Tree Farm, and I really love the illustrations on these. They're slightly raised, so they look like they're kind of painted onto the glass, and they're just so sweet. And this one smells of that kind of, it's that kind of Christmas tree scent. Yeah, it pretty much is just that, and that is one of my favourite kind of candles. I believe here in the UK that Next are selling them now. I did have a little look before I went out there on their site and couldn't see much. I think they've been selling out quite quickly, so 
Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is there. Do you believe that they're selling them now? This one is called Joy and it is sugared <laughs> snickerdoodle. Again, it has a really lovely design. Let's give this one a sniff. I remember going for quite varied scents. So this one, come on camera. Back to me, please. <laughs> yeah, this one smells like you're baking something delicious in the kitchen. You're throwing a bit of cinnamon in there, a bit of sugar. You've beaten it up so it's nice and fluffy and it's that kind of smell where you just want to really lick the spoon. That's what that one smells like. Next up we have, I think this is another sweet one. Yeah, this one is gingerbread marshmallow. It's got this little guy on the front who looks like a snowman. Snowman gingerbread man. <laughs> anyway, let's give this one a sniff. Yeah, so this one, come on camera. This one smells similar to the last one but we've got a bit more spice in this. So this one's a little bit more with the ginger and nutmeg's been thrown in into the mix. Very nice indeed. Then we have a classic here. This one I've had before, absolutely love this one. This one is fresh balsam. And this one is your kind of all time classic Christmas tree, pine, fresh, lovely scents. If you don't have a real Christmas tree in your home, it's a really nice kind of thing to burn if you wanna have that kind of effect. And then we have this one, which is Tis the Season, a very festive looking container. So a really nice one for a Christmas gift. I love that with the red and the gold. And this one, this one's very sweet smelling actually. This one smells, it's got some of those kind of baking notes in it. So you've got kind of some of the nutmeg but you've also got kind of like that fresh fruit smell. So this one to me smells like you've gone out and you've bought yourself a really nice expensive wreath from the florist that has some real fruit and some berries and some cloves, some cinnamon on it. And you might be making a punch in the kitchen too that's bubbling away. <laughs> and then we have last one of the single wickers. So I got, um, yeah, took advantage. So I got two, four, six of these. Took advantage of that deal. They said to me that the three wick deal had just gone off. So I think in Bath and Body Works, they usually have offers on candles, but only one particular kind. So either it's all the three wick ones on offer, three for two or whatever, or the single wick. So they, they mix and match it, I think. So I asked about the um, three wick ones and she was like, no, they've just gone out of um, deal. The deals are on the single wick. It's always worth asking, isn't it? Now this one is called Frozen Lake and this one is more of what I would describe as an outdoor scent. You know, some candles have kind of like an outdoor fresh scent to them. So they're nice ones to burn if your home is feeling a little bit stuffy. This sort of scent, I think is a really nice one that cuts through that. It's nice to sometimes burn something a little bit fresh, a little bit fruity, but it's more kind of, it just smells like air, outdoor air, which sounds ridiculous. But yeah, it's got that really nice fresh smell to it. So I love that one. And also again, I really like the design on this one, the little ice skaters and the cute little animals surrounding the lake. Very nice indeed. And then I did treat myself to a three wicker, so I thought, We'd just go for one as they weren't on offer. <laughs> but I did get this one, which is an all-time classic. And also they didn't have this one available in the single wick. So I really wanted to get one of these. And this one is their holiday candle. And this one I would say is probably a really classic just Christmas candle. If you want something that smells, to me it smells a bit like Ralph Lauren do an amazing Christmas candle and when you go into their shop, it always smells the same every year and it reminds me of feeling festive and Christmas time. And this is that kind of smell. It just smells nice mix between Christmas tree, Christmas cloves, Christmas mulled wine, Christmas baking, a very festive home. And with it being a three wicker and a really nice Christmas design, I thought that would be lovely to burn in the living room at Christmas time. Nice one to pop by the fireplace or you know on the coffee table, that sort of thing. And yeah, has a nice lid to it too. Let me just show you that, got fingerprints on it. So <laughs> I'll give that a little polish. But yeah, it's got really lovely snowflake design on it. And that 
is all of the candles I got in Bath and Body Works. But I did also get a few of their hand sanitizers, which were on offer. I've forgotten what they were, but it was five for something. Usually they're $1.95, so I can't remember what the deal was on these, but I got a few. So I got this little festive one. This one says, tis the season. These all smell really good. I had the, it was the stress release one, I think it was called. Had a few of those from the previous Bath and Body Works haul that I did when I worked with Shipper 2. Whenever I used it on the tube or on my travels, oh, it just smelled really good. It's quite nice to have a nice fragrant um, hand sanitizer, I think. Just um, boosts the mood, you know? Um, crisp morning air, this one here, which was very nice indeed. And then we have holiday mistletoe. I'm not going to sniff each of these because they're a bit awkward to sniff <laughs> unless you apply them on your hands. But then we have some from the men's collection. We have Noir. Noir. I find it hard to say that word. Noir. I feel like I'm saying that strange. Anyway, um, nice one from the men's collection here. And then also Mahogany Teakwood, which is a lovely candle that they do too. So that'll be very nice to use when I'm out and about. And that is everything that I got from Bath & Body Works. And the last two things that I've got to show you are actually Christmas gifts for some of my friends here on YouTube. So Luke and Kate, if you're watching, you need to stop watching now. Or you can carry on watching, but then it won't be a surprise. So stop watching, because <laughs> I'll probably give these to you when we get together in London. So yeah, you two, click off. Go and watch something else if you have been watching this. And for everybody else, I picked up these next two items for Luke and Kate, who you all know here on YouTube. I'll link their channels in the description box in case you don't know who I'm talking about. But I was in Hobby Lobby. Now, Hobby Lobby is another shop that I could have spent days in. I mean, the size of it. Hobbycraft in the UK has some brilliant choice and some selection, but Hobby Lobby was on another scale. So much choice for crafters and so much choice for kind of decorating the homes. Had entire rows of things for shelving, for example, or things for signs that you could hang up, or entire rows of garlands, entire rows of, oh my goodness, the Christmas baubles. They had every single color you could imagine stacked up to the ceiling, endless Christmas decorations, endless supplies for kind of decorating your home for fall, Loads of mugs to choose from, you'll see in a minute, the ones that I picked out. Just so much great stuff and any kind of really specialist hobbies. I stopped and just looked at a few of them, like I looked at the clock making section. Had a good look at some of the pens and paints and paintbrush choices that they had. It was just incredible. Somewhere that if you're into your craft, if you're into decorating the home, DIYs, all that sort of thing, you would thoroughly enjoy if you haven't been before. So, yeah. Next time I go to the USA, I will be definitely blocking out some more time to go back there and hopefully to pick up some bits. But honestly, I was a bit overwhelmed. So I thought it'd be nice to get something. And towards the tills, I spied these two mugs and I just thought they would make the perfect gifts for Kate and for Luke. Wait until you see them and you'll see exactly why. So we have this one. They're both an autumn design. Let's just get them into focus. And we have this one. How cool are these? So do you see why I chose them? I just think they are brilliant. So this one reminded me of Maggie in a little jumper. And then this one reminded me of Rufus, who's sporting this cute little <laughs> overalls and check shirt and straw hat combo. I just thought they were great. A nice size too. And also, again, an autumn themed mug, which again in the UK, we don't get loads of choice of these sort of things. So I just thought they were great. So I'm gonna pop those away and give those to Luke and Kate um, as we head into Christmas. And that is everything that I picked up on my travels. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm just looking around me thinking have I definitely shown you everything, but I think I have. Um, if I do miss anything, I'll show it on my Instagram. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favourite? That is a tough choice for me. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you want to see that trying American candy video. But yeah, that's everything. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home, which is my home account where I've been sharing all of my looks around the stores while I was over there too. I've saved those as highlights. You can have a little click through and see anything else that I spotted while I was in store if you're a fan of the USA shops. And yeah, that's it. So enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, whatever time it is you're watching this, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.